Welcome back to AP Pre-Calculus in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Topic 2.6 is half about function modeling and half about residuals. So really quickly, we're going to do an overview of making equations for linear, quadratic, and exponential function data sets. If the data is linear, you have the skeleton equation y equals mx plus b. You plug in whatever y equals when x equals 0 for b, and the slope calculated by this formula for m. If the data is quadratic, you have the skeleton equation y equals a multiplied by x minus b squared plus c, where you plug in the vertical shift for c, the horizontal translation for b, and then you plug in a point into the equation and use algebra to solve for a. If the data is exponential, you have the skeleton equation y equals ab to be x, where you plug in whatever y is when x equals 0 for a, and the rate at which the data is being multiplied by for b, and that's it. On the calculator portion of the exam, you'll likely be given a data set and asked to find the equation that best fits it, which of course you would find with a regression. Once you've determined the regression equation, you might be given residuals. A residual is just the difference between the actual data point and the value predicted by your model. So if your model says the point should be there, but the actual data is a little higher or lower, the residual is the vertical distance between those two points. A model is considered appropriate if the residual plot, which is a graph of all the residuals, appears without a pattern. In other words, if the errors are random, then your model is a good fit for your data. If the residual plot shows a pattern, it means your model isn't fully capturing the behavior of the data, meaning the goal is to see randomness. The difference between the predicted and actual values is the error in the model. Sometimes having an overestimate or underestimate might be appropriate for a data set, but it all depends depends on the context. On the screen now are AP style questions for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the work and answers on the screen now. See you in the next one.